7 Algiers 1806. Class, Secret. Date 19th of December, 2007. Summary, Recent Discussions with Former Government Officials, Long-Term Opposition Leaders and Journalists paint a picture of an Algerian regime that is fragile in ways it has not been before, plagued by a lack of vision, unprecedented levels of corruption and rumblings of division within the military rank and file. Our Algerian contacts are often a grumpy lot, but we now hear more than the ordinary amount of concern about the government of Algeria's inability or unwillingness to address political, economic and security problems. The December 11th suicide bombings in Algiers, carried out by two men amnestied under the Charter for Peace and National Reconciliation, have ignited heated debate about the ability of President Bouteflika's reconciliation program to protect the country. The debate pits proponents of an urgent and aggressive approach to the terrorist threat against those aligned with Bouteflika who still believe that amnesty has a role to play. The picture of an isolated president, a stagnant reform process and an uncertain approach towards terror comes at a time when efforts within the government to engineer a third term, for Bouteflika are gathering steam. We do not sense an explosion coming right away. Instead, we see a government drifting and groping for a way forward. An anonymous source reported that there is a growing gap between what ordinary Algerians see, as their key needs and what they perceive the government is offering in terms of wages and quality of life. As a result, he said, fewer Algerians are willing to help the government. The ambassador said that the U.S. favors political liberalization. Sadi warned of the long-term dangers of the U.S. Remaining silent on what he perceived as the deterioration of Algerian democracy, as evidenced by the local elections. In Sadi's view, outside support is critical to the survival of democracy and the productive engagement of Algerian youth, 70% of the population, in political and economic life. If the U.S. is seen to be complicit in meaningless elections and the process of amending the Constitution to allow Bouteflika to run for a third term, he warned, it risks losing the youth demographic for the future. He also mentioned a split in military and security between senior and younger officers. The younger are concerned for Algeria and blame the old guard for neglect and mismanagement and they sense that their country is adrift. These and other confidential sources told us that corruption is at an all-time high in this regime. The FLN party has sought to install local officials through electoral wrangling based on loyalty instead of competence. Corruption reached epic highs also in the military. Source cited LT. General Ahmed Gade Salah as perhaps the most corrupt official in the military. Medin agreed the problem went all the way to the top. There is a heated debate going on about Islamist extremism and the 11 December bombings. The new element is the push from Prime Minister Belkhadam and the FLN apparatus, probably with impetus from Bouteflika's brothers, if not President Bouteflika himself, to arrange a constitutional amendment and a third term. Source said that both Bouteflika and Algeria itself were in critical condition and fading, 